Hi Leo and welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading. My name is Uea. Thank you for tuning in. This reading is for February 2020 and I thought I'm going to do a love reading for you with the tarot. I have to say I couldn't wait. Today is the 19th and I was like I need to tune in. I want to do reading. So uh, because I felt so strongly guided I'm tuning in today and uh, what I'm going to do first is Always smudge yourself. So, a little bit of smudge for you as well. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for cleansing this room from all negative and low vibrational energies. And thank you so much for protecting this room and the reading so that only the highest vibration and the unconditional love comes through these cards. Thank you. All right. Great. So, I am going to shuffle your cards and we're now show you your cards just a second okay leo this is always sun moon rising so check your sun moon rising sign energies can be vice versa so um we have divine feminine here divine masculine here uh i will clarify some cards i'm using the good tarot here and i think that's a silver witchcraft one but i really need to <laughs> i really need to check uh anyway so the energies oh my goodness you know what? I really feel a bit sad. Like uh, when I shuffled the cards, I was like, oh, I'm so, I do feel sad. There's like the energies of your reading are actually like, like a heartache and like a loss. And it really feels, I can really feel it <laughs> in my body. And it's like, I want a heavy breathe. And it's like, oh, and there's something really uh, heavy on your, on your heart. And um, the, let's okay let's have a look so the energies of um, i'm gonna turn it around so you can then see each card from the right direction so divine masculine the energies of the divine masculine i do feel like divine the masculine needs to learn the balance between giving and taking and giving and receiving that is the energy of this card and um and I do feel because the next card is how the divine masculine is feeling towards the divine feminine. It's, um, yeah, it's the wheel has turned or is turning and there's a new chapter now. And um, I do feel like with the card of the three of air, it does feel like a relationship has ended. Um, and there is still heartache and uh, the feeling of loss and sadness. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna turn this around as well. Again, I, I feel like with the six of earth, this is, this is always the give and take balance. And that's the energy of divine masculine. And also there's a very strong sense of destiny. This was supposed to happen. The wheel is turning now. And this is strongly how divine masculine is feeling towards divine feminine. And looking at divine feminine, I see, I feel it's really hard to, to, to talk. It's really, because it's that's a heavy energy um so we have here as the divine feminine energy the five of air so this is the feeling of you know what there are no winners in this fight in this battle in the original rider weight tarot there are three people on this card and two people are leaving the battlefield and they are very sad and they are crying and the first person in the in the picture has all the swords well, he has all the swords, but he has no friends anymore. And that is the energy of this card. Like, no matter what, no matter which way I go, I just can lose. And it's a really heavy energy. And also, how do you or how does Divine Feminine feel about Divine Masculine in this situation? It's like moving away. The aid of water is like leaving something behind. There's already the ship and it's going to take you somewhere else. But what you leave behind, it's not just bad things. It's really like you have eight cups there. You leave eight cups behind. Like there's a lot of good stuff that you leave behind as well. And it's a really, really sad card. But also this is a card of the new future, the new horizon. So um, you might going to leave a lot of beautiful cups behind as well. But also you're taking this treasure uh, chest with you. And uh, there will be new cups in the future for you. Having a look now 
uh, about the uh, energies, more energies about divine masculine. <sighs> okay, so the, I'm really sorry for you guys, Leos. Um, the other cards, I feel like the first time, like this really heavy energy is coming through. And uh, it, it, does, is, it is a bit difficult to talk and I, I am very sad and um, yeah. Um, like there is a pressure on my body, my, my lower chakra, my heart, there is like a pressure. And we have the Ten of Air here, which indicates a change. But this also indicates, so in the good tarot, it is about um, difficulties end. So I don't just feel like, oh, this was always sunshine. I also feel like there were difficulties and uh, there has been now a clean cut. Um, also we have the Ace of Earth here, so it does feel like Divine Masculine here has also an Earth energy. It's now really focused on Divine Masculine and really starting to build up something stable within himself or around himself can me be that he's more focused now on, on um, yeah, financial matters and um, uh, creating abundance in, in his life. Um, I also have the three of water here. Three of water can indicate a third party situation that he might have already someone new. Um, but um, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm going to clarify in a, in a bit. Um, what I also want to do is, um, yeah, I'm going to clarify in a, in a second. So these are the energies of divine mass, uh, divine feminine. And we do have the hermit here, which is really, uh, the hermit is really like looking within and withdrawing from the world. And that's your energy, divine feminine. Um, like really feeling like you want to be behind closed doors now. And there are a lot of emotions still. And, um, yeah, it feels like the waves of your emotions are really rising high every now and then. Um, but also with the two of fire, it is embracing the unknown and really planning for the future. And it does feel like um, your ship is coming and it's taking you to your new future. And uh, it does feel like it would be good to make some plans for the future and to just focus on what's coming now and not so much what you left behind. Um, the past of the situation, I'm just going to change this because uh, I laid it out for, for my, from my perspective. So this is actually the past. We have the present and we have the future. So in the past, well, there was a new beginning um, or literally... Uh, because this is card number zero, it felt like, okay, there was point zero reached. And from this moment, it just, uh, yeah, it, it was a point zero, like, okay, everything new, uh, which is, of course, with the Wheel of Fortune, very likely um, to see the full card here, uh, literally a new chapter in your life. Um, also for uh, for this situation, uh, the present energy is the seven of water. I do feel like there are still a lot of illusions, um, wishful thinking uh, regarding this situation here. Um, yeah. And for the future, a little bit of a hard time to let go. The four of uh, earth is really about holding on to something and having a hard time of letting, letting something go. Um, so let's go to the clarifying. Oh my god, I don't know where to start clarifying. Um, okay, I do feel like those cards are really clear. Um, so what I would like to do is clarify the middle cards here um, to just give a bit more information. So. I want to put uh, pull two more cards for this area here. So two more cards, please, for the Divine Masculine, please. Two more cards for Divine Masculine. Ah, okay. So the lovers for Divine Masculine means, means either a decision. Uh, it's always a decision. So this can mean a decision for self-love and for taking care after, after yourself. So maybe Divine Masculine is really... Um, looking after himself now but as i've said with the three of water um there might be another love relationship already or another person involved 
Okay, another card please for Divine Masculine. Yeah, and the moon. So the moon speaks about... Oops, did I just lose a card? No, it's still here, right? So the moon talks about deep feelings, um, uh, intuition, but also, and I do feel like there are things for Divine Masculine in the in the depth of the dark because in the sunlight you can see things clear which you can't at night when the moon is shining so in the moonlight you see things that might be even uh, imaginary so here wishful thinking maybe you are imagining some things um but also there are maybe things hidden that once the sun is shining the light on it there are other things and other aspects of this relationship that will come up um even though there is something new that you need to look at so let's have a look for the divine feminine here in this situation divine feminine please two more cards for divine feminine okay so i do feel like there is a new breeze uh, blowing around you so even though we have, I mean, we have here the creative planning for the future card and embracing the unknown. I do feel like this is related to this. It feels like uh, the fog is slowly lifting around you. Uh, oh, nope. No, no, no. You can, um, you get new ideas. Uh, you get new insights. I do feel like spirit is really working with you and helping you in this process as well. Uh, so you can create your, your new future now. Um... So that's good that's really good and i think the king of water here with the emotions that are still running high every now and then and you wanting to withdraw i think that's just a normal re um, reaction and just a process you are going through yeah but then we have the chariot here so you are going to move forward as well divine feminine and um what you need is a little bit of focus determination and willpower to really um, balance I do feel also with the king of water it's balancing the emotions and really balance your mind your emotions to really push forward I do feel like I want I do feel like I want one more in general card that I want to lay in the middle here I don't know why but I'm gonna do it so please spirit what else is there that we need to know for Leo's reading love reading February 2020 what else do we okay you are ready wow okay this is a beautiful card to have at the end of the reading um it i i just got the um I just got the message that there was a purification process, uh, a purging, something needed to be let go. Um, there was a big cleansing in your life and you are ready now. You are now the magician and you are ready. Wow, 1313 once I said, well, I said this. Um, Leo, wow, what a reading. I really feel like you're going through a heavy time and I do feel your energy and it's like, wow. But I'm sending you so much love from Avalon, from the Earth Heart Chakra and blessings from Avalon as well. Um, if you resonated with it, please leave me a comment, a like or subscribe to the channel. If you feel like you want your own personal reading, just drop me a message here or on Instagram. And I'm looking forward to the next reading. So much love.